Hello children. In today's class, we are going to study electronic media. So, as you know, electronic media uh, is uh, a media that uses electromechanical device uh, to access the content. So, what is electronic media? It's a media that uses electromechanical device uh, to access the content. So, this is uh, similar to social media, which nowadays uh, are most often created electronically. So, most new media are in the form of digital media. Electronic media makes communication easy to connect people from one end uh, to other end by getting them together through media facilities. So, before some years, if you see people used to perform cultural events in various forms like folk dance, uh, drama, folk events, etc. So, and that media was used actually to communicate a message to large amounts of people through you know various medias like print media social media and uh, later on by electronic media so electronic media is universal in most of the developed world countries so electronic media devices have made their place in modern life so as of now you s you can see there are uh, many social media platform uh, but the electronic media is growing in the wide range as it has been uh, 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 of people, uh, you know, nowadays. And this is the, I am sharing the slide of objectives for electronic media. The main objectives, I have listed a few here. The first one, the nature of electronic media and their types. So, the origin and growth of radio as a mass, mass medium. The origin and growth of television as a mass medium. Latest development in broadcast sector. And the focus is, yeah, these are the objectives, some of the objectives, some more objectives. So, mass, mass media that use electronic energy for transmission of messages are called electronic media. So, major electronic media are radio, television, video, audio records, CDs and DVDs, etc. So, of these, I have listed a few here of these, radio and television messages are transmitted via airwaves or radio signals, I believe you will be knowing all these. So, the process of transmitting messages via radio waves or signals is called broadcasting. So, the literary meaning of uh, broadcasting is to scatter seed over a broad area rather than uh, a particular place. So, different types of electronic media, you will start with radio first. So, in today's class, we will discuss uh, radio. So, types of electronic media, radio broadcasting, television broadcasting that is telecast, cable media, satellite television, webcasting of video, uh, television. So, radio is a much uh, more portable medium you know, than television and allows the listener to carry on listening, uh, uh, to carry their listening, you know, carry on their listening while on the move. So, the picture or uh, Pictures are better on radio, so the listener can use their own imagination to conjure up for examples of what the characters in the radio play look like. Uh, they can imagine the romantic hero in a way that they prefer or to be the frightened by a monster of their own imagination. So they are freed up to produce the ima Im images uh, that they want. So this is the biggest freedom that they enjoy while they hear or while they listen to the radio programs, especially skits or drama. So, many uh, even television writers, you know, started uh, at work in radio and uh, many successful television formats were tried out on uh, radio first. So, radio programs are so much cheaper to produce on radio. So, therefore, producers are far more moving, uh, far more willing to invest the time in, in encouraging new writers and uh, supporting them through the early stages uh, if they show um, real promise. So, origin and uh, growth of uh, radio, Samuel Morse, he actually invent, uh, invention of a telegraph, he invented telegraph in the year 1842 and that actually his invention paved way for the transmit messages over air that prompted scientists to find out ways to transmit messages over air and in 1895, Italian inventor Gaglimo Marconi succeeded in the effort. So, for further development of the mechanism, 
Marconi started company in England and started commercial production of radio transmitters for military purpose. So Marconi's device was sophisticated by Reginald Fessenden and started transmission of sound over radio transmitters instead of textual signals. So I am sharing the image of radio here. So radio was, uh, it was U.S. inventor Lee D. Forrest, Lee D. Forrest, an U.S. Invent, uh, inventor who made radio transmission much clearer with his audience vacuum tube. He also envisaged stations sending continuous music, news and other programs over radio waves. So the idea came to be known as broadcasting. The first radio stations were uh, set up in Pittsburgh, New York and Chicago in 1920s. So following the USA, European countries also started radio stations for broadcasting news and entertainment content. So the col colonial powers like you know, Britain and France uh, set radio stations in Asian and African countries uh, in the early years of uh, 20th century. The next topic is radio as a mass medium. The radio, as you all know, is a powerful mass medium. Unlike other mass media, radio has a lot of advantages, both technical and message-wise, to reach maximum number of people. The advancement of technology made radio production and transmission less expensive. And radio can be accessed by any number of people simultaneously. Anybody can listen to radio as it functions as a background medium. Next important point is literacy is not a prerequisite requisite for listening radio. So literacy is not a prerequisite. In developing and underdeveloping countries, it becomes a popular medium because of these characteristics. Majority of the population in those countries are illiterate. They show a special affinity towards radio as they can overcome the deficiency of illiteracy through radio programs. And we can listen to radio while we are moving. The speciality of a background medium is that it can be used while doing other jobs. So, as, as we discussed, you know the objectives of radio. The main objectives of radio or radio informs, radio educates, and radio entertains. So, characteristics. Let me uh, let us discuss a, a few characteristics of radio. So, radio makes pictures. That is, while listening to the commentary of a cricket match or a Republic Day period in radio. You actually visualize all those scenes in your mind. So along with uh, hearing, you use your imaginative skills to recreate uh, uh, those things visually in your mind. So this, next, if you see the speed of the radio, radio is the fastest medium. It is actually instant. See, as things happen in a studio or outside, messages can be sent or uh, broadcast. And these messages can be uh, can be picked up by anyone who has a radio set or a receiver which is tuned into a radio station. And uh, next is simplicity of radio. It needs, it is radio needs a very simple uh, equipment and technology. And also next important point that we have to remember is radio is inexpensive. So this is uh, the cheapest medium. That is, uh, that is available around us. This is radio is the cheapest medium. As production cost is low, it can be brought for, uh, say, you know, uh, even 50 rupees. So radio does not need electric power supply. Radio can work even on uh, dry battery cells. And a radio receiver is uh, portable. Uh, that is, radio is portable. It can uh, work from anywhere. 
uh, one does not have to be illiterate to listen as uh, this is what we discussed before to listen to the radio so you can listen to radio in your own uh, language so there is n uh, there is no need to be a literate person and affordable even to the least income group of uh, people so radio is the best medium of entertainment it provides healthy entertainment to the listeners and there is uh, plenty of music of different types available uh, to people so the popular types of music are classical light classical uh, devotional folk and uh, even film music though we discussed uh, many advantages of radio there are certain limitations of radio broadca broadcast also just i'll highlight those points and we'll discuss these in detail in coming classes okay uh, one uh, that is a uh, first limitation is it is a one chance medium that is re hearing or re listening is not possible but in newspaper if you see re reading is possible so what is said on a radio does not exist any longer unless you record it so you have the option there to record the, uh, these days you have the option even in a mobile phone to record what you listen otherwise what is said on radio does not exist uh, any longer as i said unless you record it so the words have uh, only momentary life uh, a listener has just one chance to receive the message and understand it so radio has a, a no visual images uh, if you see television means you can see you can get, you'll, be, you'll be able to see the visual images it that will be telecasted but radio has no visual images it is left to the listeners you have to visualize those images in your inner mind so radio passes the messages uh, through audios no visuals are available in audio that is one of the greatest limitations since uh, seeing is more believable than hearing right and uh, messages on radio are easily forgotten so this is a result of you know uh, absence of visuals so when you are only heard of something you is, you, you you easily forget it and also the poor performance on the part of uh, Uh, announcers so presenters or participants uh, in a radio program can be boring or uninteresting so that is uh, that can result in listeners uh, uh, switching off their uh, uh, radio sets so listeners uh, um, interest depends on how information or messages are presented so these are the some of the limitations and uh, we'll discuss uh, uh, advantages and limitations in detail in next class thank you